restoring crumbling monuments across the world is a very expensive and time-consuming process. What if there was a cheaper and easier way to give new life to old buildings and monuments? In this video, we're going to look at how Studio Drift from the Netherlands are thinking of doing this and the technology behind it. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with who Studio Drift are and what they do. They were founded in Amsterdam by two artists in 2007. They create spectacular art and sculptures mainly using light. In 2017, they created their first moving sculpture called Franchise Freedom in Miami. The sculpture used 300 Intel drones that are capable of flying in coordinated formations known as a swarm. Let's have a look at how these work. Each drone in the swarm is equipped with a variety of sensors and communication devices, including cameras, GPS receivers, and wireless transceivers. These devices allow the central computer to track the location and movement of each drone in real time, as well as to communicate with each drone and send commands to it. The central computer uses sophisticated algorithms to coordinate the movements of the individual drones in the swarm, ensuring that they fly in precise formations and carry out their assigned tasks in a synchronized manner. This coordination allows the swarm to perform complex maneuvers such as creating 3D images, forming patterns and even creating light shows. I have linked the videos of these drone light shows in the description if you'd like to see them. After putting on several of these incredible light shows, including ones at the Burning Man Festival, Studio Drift have turned their attention to another project. They're aiming to work with other companies to use the drones to create light formations that restore monuments to their original silhouette. We can see a few examples here. This would use static drones rather than the moving ones in the light shows mentioned earlier, but can give tourists and locals a look at what the original structure looked like before falling into ruin. These photos are just renders for now, but Studio Drift do hope to make these kind of light shows a reality in the coming years. The project could also be used to give architects and city residents an idea what their skyline would look like if a new skyscraper is built. Have you ever seen a drone light show? And would you like to visit a drone restored monument? Let me know in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.